What's up everybody? Welcome back to ABC Acres. This is Justin. We're actually out here earlier than I planned on being out here today. Pretty chilly this morning. As you can see, it's a little bit frosty. It's 34 degrees, it says, but the sun's not up. So it's pretty chilly. But as you could see, this guy thought it'd be a good idea to get his head stuck in the fence this morning. I just happened to be up in the house getting the kids some breakfast, looked out and saw him struggling. So I said, well, we'll just go ahead and knock out this morning stuff. We need to bust water and get some hay. Are you hungry, buddy? I don't think he was stuck out all night. He doesn't have any frost or anything on his back, but he's been there maybe a little longer than I realized. We need to get this hay feeder drugged to a new location. Just move it over here. So when we move this hay feeder to a new location, I try to make sure it's somewhere where it can sit and not wobble back and forth too much. That way, hopefully, it'll lower the chances of these goats turning it over on each other. Poppy taking advantage of all the hay I dropped. I'll just leave that there. So we do have a problem. I've been trying to take care of this over the past few weeks, but we're still struggling here. Our poor girl s'mores here has not been feeling so great. As you can see, she's not in a big hurry to go eat with everybody else. Maple just hangs around because she likes people a lot. But s'mores has been trailing back away from everybody. She's had some loose stool, like really loose, and her eyelids are really pale, which usually means a parasite issue. So we wormed her for that. I thought she was getting better. Then she started trailing off again. More loose stool. I finally took her to the vet yesterday, and we came up with a game plan to re-worm her again. So we're gonna try this again. I'm giving her some other nutrients and vitamins, minerals to keep her boosted. And she's still up and getting around and she still eats. So she's not totally down and out, but we need to get, get this problem resolved. We're actually doing a dual wormer with her. So she'll get both of these today and then she'll get this one for two more days, and then we'll redose her in 10 days, maybe. I can't remember without looking at my paper. You can see where she's been kinda gross on her back end there. If any of you saw the YouTube shorts about the two tiny babies that we lost that I found in the field the other day, well, those would be s'mores babies. I saw signs of that happening that morning before I went to work. Really just lucked across finding that in the field that evening when I got home. It was, I was pretty bummed out. She was maybe the one I was most excited about having kids out of this year. But it was still kind of cool to to see that and just how, how tiny they are. I could fit two in the palm of my hand. So there's still, there's still hope. If we can get her cleaned up and going, then we can breed her this spring to have babies this fall. 
I wanted all mine to be in the spring, but sometimes with animals, you just take what you can get. And hopefully if everything goes according to plan, she'll have fall babies. The idea of throwing that hay there was to give a couple of the smaller and younger goats a little place to eat hay while the big girls eat out of the feeder. The only problem is all the big girls want to come see what I gave to the little goats because they're afraid they're missing something. So in case anybody's wondering or in case anybody says anything, the medicine I gave s'mores did not kill her babies. The medicine I gave her is safe for pregnant does. So that is not what caused her to lose those babies. I think it was probably just the parasites or the stress of everything is what caused that to happen. But the main thing right now is just making sure she gets back to 100% healthy. I need to make a run to town. I've got just a few small things left for Christmas. I won't tell you what today is. It's too close to Christmas to be Christmas shopping, at least for what I normally try to do. It's just the way it goes sometimes. So we're gonna go get those couple things at the store. Hopefully we'll be back in a little while. All right, we are back. As you can see, we've shed the, the bibs. It's after lunch. It is quite a bit warmer now. We found the crew. So these guys are outside hanging out. I've got some scraps. We're gonna give the chickens real quick. Here's some grilled cheese leftovers and some peppers. I've got a couple of things I need to do so while i'm taking care of that i'm gonna turn you guys over to these two we're gonna try this we're gonna see how it works let me introduce you to the kid cam okay so today the game that we're playing is called peanut butter crackers Baker just lays on the ground <coughs> and i try to crack him this is kids cam i'm everly and I'm this Baker. is Baker. Yeah. The next thing that we're playing is called jump tag. Basically all we do is jump and we try to get away from the other person. And guess what? And if you're on the ground, no one can get it. So let's get to it. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Thanks for watching the kids camp. No eggs. Those three hens must be on a egg laying strike. Uh, this cold weather must have finally got to them. No luck with eggs today. You can see all the girls come up. Morris is dragging up the back. So while you guys were hanging out with Everly and Baker for a few minutes, I came down here in the goat field and checked on s'mores and I gave her a little hit of, it's called Nutra Drench. And it's just packed full of nutrients. Imagine that by the name and just gives them a little boost of energy. So I've been giving her some of that as we go here. Hopefully we can get her healed up here the next little bit. I have no idea with this video footage of Baker and Everly that you just watch looks like. We'll see how this goes. I was trying to come up with something. Both of them love doing that kind of stuff. They don't always want to be out here with me. So this isn't something I'm going to force on them. I'm never going to make them do this, but 
they do enjoy doing some on their own. So we'll see how it goes. We'll give it a trial run here and may give you guys some more kids cam footage coming up. Hey, Maple, was that mineral good? I'm gonna have a little bit there. Saving that for later. I think we're gonna wrap this video up. We have a family Christmas to go to this evening. Wanna just keep you guys in the loop, let you know what's going on about s'mores. Fingers crossed we can get her nurse back to health pretty quick and move along and we can get ready for all these other girls to have their babies soon. You can't just kneel down in the field with goats and expect to easily record anything or do anything because they're always going to be right on top of you. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year in case we don't see you before New Year's. We are extremely blessed here. We look forward to spending time with family over the next few days celebrating the birth of our Lord. I just pray that all of you remember that during this time and the real reason we celebrate Christmas. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. God bless.